Hello, my awesome Scorpios. I missed you guys. Scorpio, I hope you're doing wonderful. It's Saturday where I am. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Scorpio, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on by watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time especially in relation to you, Scorpio. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Scorpio in their life? What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. Let's see, Scorpio, what's showing up for you? Mm. <clears throat> Scorpio, somebody is watching you. Somebody wants to come towards you, but uh, it's because they feel like you are disappointed uh, yeah, it looks like your soulmate is very regretful about losing you and they want to come towards you. They're not able to really show. They're kind of worried that you may not want to hear them out or you will reject them. This means apologies. So they want to make amends with you. They're thinking of you very heavily because they're showing up in your reading already. And we asked about you and they're showing up directly. This is them. They know they're going to have to have a lot of courage. Uh, inner strength, be brave to approach you. This is them very determined to come towards you. This is victorious behavior after great emotional struggle. So even though they're scared of you saying no to them or rejecting them, this person is going to be successful, victorious at making themselves known, coming towards you, whether they're going to reach out to you directly or through a third party. Universe, please show us uh, what's coming towards Scorpio. What is showing up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? A lot of you are dealing with Cancerian, but they could be any sign, really. Leo showing up here. Wow. Yeah, you see, this person is kind of fearful of your reaction. Gemini showing up now. Aries, you see, this person is at a crossroads, have a lot of questions, fears, but they're going to see clearly how to proceed correctly. The sun is present, which is a good omen. This person is stressed out. Yeah, they stressed out over you. They can't believe like it's over, like this relationship is uh, resolved, like there's nothing going on right now between you two. Look at this. This person doesn't want to lose you. This shows that you two had some serious disagreements, arguments. Uh, look at the stressful energy. Mm. This person is heartbroken over losing you. This is heartbreak. Three of swords in traditional decks. Three of swords is depicted with a heart being stabbed by three swords. So this person is deeply devastated, emotionally heartbroken over losing you. Yeah, they feel you are very important to them, Scorpio. Yeah, this person has a hard time initiating communication, expressing emotions, uh, showing that they are emotionally vulnerable, but they feel emotions very deeply. This person is devastated emotionally over losing you, Scorpio. They totally took over your reading. That means they are planning. They are thinking, analyzing Universe, please show us what's coming towards Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing on their summit journey. Yeah, there's a lot that they want to get off the chest, tell you. They do. They do. they checking up on you, curious what's going on in your life, how are you doing. A lot of you are dealing with the Libra. 
This person views you as marriage material, want to have relationship with you. They love you a lot. This means unexpressed love, secret love, hidden love. This person has a lot of love for you. That's unexpressed at this time. Yeah, look at this. You guys are definitely not together. So uh, you walked away from each other for some reason. Something serious happened. Uh, maybe you walked away from them. Let's see. Now we're going to ask about you because this whole reading was about your soulmate. Universe, please show us what's coming. <clears throat> wow. Major changes coming to your life for the better. <clears throat> Universe, please show us what's coming towards Scorpio. What should Scorpio expect? How is Scorpio doing? And how is Scorpio doing emotionally in relation to their soulmate? How is Scorpio doing emotionally at this time in relation to their soulmate? Wow, Scorpio, this is looking at me, and so is this one. For some reason, you have two extra messages, not one. Look how beautiful your energy is, whether you're male or female. Showing up as queen of wands energy, queen of action. This is you taking charge of your life, being very strong, powerful. You are very intuitive. For this to show up in position one means you're psychic, you're intuitive, very... Um, Powerful at your craft, whatever it is you do for a living or as a hobby, uh, you are powerful. You help people. You see, look at this. You have a lot of spiritual power, knowledge, wisdom. Hmm. People find you very attractive, enigmatic. Yeah, you see, the tower moment happened. You decided to take action and break this situation up. You decided to free yourself of this connection, this relationship. Yeah. <clears throat> so I know not every Scorpio is going through the same thing, and that goes for every astrological sign. This reading is clearly for those of you Scorpios that decided to take action and walk away from this relationship. You've done it before, and you always came back hoping that things would improve, but they haven't, and you finally decided, no, this is it. I'm leaving this relationship. So you left, you took action and you said, that's it, I'm leaving this relationship. Yeah, you've been through a lot of heartbreak. Look at this heartbreak. You see, this is you feeling like you need alone time. You need to retreat in solitude to heal. Yeah, you are silent. You're not communicating with your soulmate. Ooh, <clears throat> but listen, this shows clearly that you want to make amends with them. You don't want to feel this negative energy which is wise of you absolutely you want to make amends with this person yeah you want to be on peaceful grounds with them you don't want to feel this negative energy look how guarded you are emotionally you are extremely guarded emotionally you've been through a lot of heartbreak in this situation and you finally decided you can't do it anymore you released this person. You did. Universe, please show us mm, what's going on currently with Scorpio in relation to their soulmate. How is Scorpio currently doing? Scorpio, you're so strong. You're so brave. Yeah, you see? The reason why you decided you had to let them go for good is because they didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate, didn't communicate, didn't express emotions, didn't tell you where you stand in their life. Didn't give you commitment, so you had no choice but to let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they couldn't or didn't want to for whatever reason, but they didn't. And you finally said, no, I have to finally take that final action and let them go. Yeah. You were very disappointed. You love this person a lot. And they love you a lot. But you felt so empty, unappreciated in this relationship. You felt like you were alone in this relationship. Yeah, this is you wanting a relationship that's emotionally fulfilling, reciprocal, where the person expresses to you how they feel about you, show you love, communicate with you. Uh, 
uh, where the two of you are on the same page, where you're not feeling drained. <clears throat> this person wants to apologize to you. They want to make amends with you. They do. They're showing up in your reading again, even though I asked how you are towards them. They're showing up with how they are also towards you. This person recognizes that they didn't meet you halfway, whether they couldn't or didn't want to for some reason, and they want to apologize or make amends with you. Wow, this person has a lot of respect for you. They view you as very attractive, strong-willed, independent. But this shows me another very important message, this combination in particular. Whatever this you do for a living, people recognize it as powerful. You make a difference in people's lives. Yeah, you are very powerful. Whatever this you do for a living or as a hobby, uh, keep doing it because you're making a difference in the world. <sighs> blessings coming to you, Scorpio. Blessings, blessings coming to you. Rewards, good karma. Yes, blessings coming to you. New beginnings in your life. You're healing, you're releasing the past. You're healing. New energy is able to enter your life. Fresh new energy, new opportunities, new friendships, new relationships. You view yourself as single. You are single. You're not in a relationship right now. You are very attractive to a lot of people. Independent, strong-willed, good at your business or craft. It looks like a lot of you have your own business or whatever it is you're doing. You're successful at it. This is money coming in. Uh, not only that, more than that, you helping people. People find your services or products valuable. People respect you. People are drawn to you, attracted to you. Whatever it is you do for a living, some people are jealous of you. Uh, their energy, the jealous people towards you, their energy is draining. So it's important that you smudge your residence with sage or palo santo. Cleanse that energy from your environment, from your residence. Take sea salt baths. Yeah. So you know what that means. When people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Continue doing what you're doing. Don't let people's negative energy affect you. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Scorpio. A lot of you are dealing with a Taurus, also Aries. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing, especially in the soulmate situation. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is you being victorious after great emotional struggles. Uh, you facing your situations. You're not trying to run away from them, which is good. You're facing uh, difficult situations and you're going to, because you're not trying to run away from your problems, you're going to successfully handle uh, the situations that are troublesome, whether it's soulmate relationship, uh, family relationships, co-worker relationships. You're going to handle it successfully. This is beautiful, Scorpio. You are fabulous. Yeah, you see? Look, you have to stand up for yourself. This is you uh, recognizing your worth as a person. This is you respecting yourself, living your life with integrity, uh, having healthy boundaries. People who don't respect your healthy boundaries don't belong in your life. Yeah. Because uh, you have healthy boundaries, you have to be picky who you allow into your uh, close circles of friends. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be drained. So, yeah, you have high respect for yourself. And uh, you only going to allow people who respect themselves and you as well to enter your close circles. Yeah, look how much power you have within you. Very powerful energy. You you making right decisions for yourself, Scorpio. Yeah, you are powerful at your job. Whatever it is you do makes a huge difference. Blessings coming to you. You're making right decisions for yourself. You see very clearly who belongs in your life and who you need to release for your highest good. Yeah, you see, you are releasing toxic situations, toxic people, toxic connections from your life. You have jealousy towards you from due to your whatever you do for a living or, or as a hobby. It looks like you do it for a living because pentacles are showing up here. So 
keep doing what you're doing. Uh, it's being recognized as helping others, making a difference in the world. Uh, you have some jealousy towards you. Um, yeah, you're going to have to ignore that jealousy. Um, yeah, you're going to have to not let it drain you, not to discourage you because you're making a difference in the world and there's always going to be some opposition, you see. So um, whoever these people are, whether it's your competition in your business or uh, friends or coworkers, whoever they are, uh, send them love and light. Uh, release them um, with forgiveness. Yeah. Don't let their negative energy affect you. Um, Scorpio, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term at this time? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.